If you're feeling a little groggy on this Thursday evening, we'll give you a pass. The Mississippi State Bulldogs just wouldn't let our head hit the pillow until the wee hours of this morning. Diamond Dogs got this walk-off RBI single from Gunnar Halter in the 17th inning to outlast LSU 6-5 to complete the longest game in SEC tournament history. Last night's contest lasted 6 hours and 43 minutes and has the Dogs moving on to take on Vanderbilt later tonight. Uh, I've actually never been in that situation before. Uh, that was my first time. And I, like I said, I told him earlier, I said I was probably the smallest dude in there, so I was bouncing around pretty good. Bulldogs will take on top seeded Vanderbilt in the winner's bracket tonight. The Ole Miss Rebels had just two hits today, both coming in the ninth inning, but it was all they needed to sneak by Texas A&M for a 1-0 win to stay alive in the SEC tournament. Thomas Dillard ended the no-hit bid by the Aggies in the ninth before Cole Zabowski won it with a go-ahead RBI double that has the Rebels moving on. I thought a gutsy, you know, tremendous performance by uh, Doug you know, out there, and, and it just shows you um, we talk so much about you know this league and and the competition and you know, only on day three can you face a team that's you know ranked in the top 20 throws you know, first rounder and a guy that throws a no hitter you know it wasn't necessarily difficult today it was just having a like healthy mix of good pitches and I, I don't think I ever really found it today on the mound like having complete control of all of my pitches but I was able to work through it and my defense did a great job behind me didn't make an error Rebels going to return to the field tomorrow at three. And you are running out of time to get on the action for the fourth annual golf scramble that will benefit the Southeast Lauderdale High School football program. Tomorrow's scramble will be held at the Briarwood Country Club beginning at 9 a.m. If you want in, contact Russell Keene before it's too late by calling that number on your screen, 601-483-5501. Alabama football has announced an addition to their future football schedule. The Bulls of South Florida. The Tide will host games in Tuscaloosa in 2024 and 2026, while Bama will head to Raymond James Stadium in Tampa in 2023. A true road game. Alabama hasn't played in a true road game in non-conference since a trip to Happy Valley to play Penn State in 2011. The Bulls and the Tide have met just once on the gridiron back in 2003 when Alabama won 40-17. NASCAR has revealed their 2020 star-studded Hall of Fame class, which is highlighted by three-time Cup Series champ Tony Stewart. Smoke, along with Joe Gibbs, Buddy Baker, Bobby Labonte, and Waddell Wilson, were all named to the class on Wednesday night. Stewart was chosen in his first year of eligibility with 88% of the votes. The newest nominees will be inducted on January 31st of 2020 at a ceremony in Charlotte. Their enshrinement will increase the NASCAR Hall of Fame list of honorees to 55 members. And the NBA has announced their all NBA teams this afternoon. And for the first time in 11 seasons, LeBron James did not appear on the first team. Giannis Antetokounmpo, James Harden, Paul George, Steph Curry, and Nikola Jokic were all named first teamers, while James did get the nod as a third team selection. That means James' streak of being in, on the all NBA team is extended to 15 years overall, tied for the most in NBA history. Mark, where is KD? Wow. He Shocked. didn't make the first team. He's the best player in the He's world. He's the best player in the world right now. And they picked Paul George yeah. over, over KD. Paul George was pretty clutch this year. KD, KD's on a team that uh, probably could win without him. Will that yeah. impact yeah. his future <laughs> no. pay? No, no, it won't. No, it'll be, uh, he's, It'll he's be okay. fine.